pretty sad looking mall. Wow. Hello, and welcome to Crossroads Mall in Waterloo, Iowa. In 1967, plans were announced for a new mall in Waterloo, Iowa, along with a couple other malls with the same name. In St. Cloud, Minnesota, and another one in Fort Dodge, Iowa. March 24th of 1969, Sears opened up its anchor store. And exactly one year later in 1970, the mall opened. And this mall has the distinction of being the first enclosed mall in the state of Iowa and the only two-story mall in the state of Iowa. J.C. Penney opened an anchor store along with the mall, as did a Black's department store. Black's department store became Donaldson's in 1978, and then in 1987 it became a Carson Peary Scott, and that store closed September 30th of 1989. The upper level of the J.C. Penney Anchor Store was converted to a Herberger's in 1989. In 1991, Sears rented a 57,000 square foot portion of its Anchor Store to become a Farmore Pharmacy. However, in 1993, that space became a half-price store, and later on it was renamed Gordman's. In 1997, Herberger's was renamed Yonkers. And in that same year, the mall was renovated at a cost of $4 million dollars and Dillard's constructed a 155,000 square foot store connected to the mall at a cost of $20 million. And the Dillard's anchor opened in August of 1997. As I said earlier, all the half price store locations were renamed Gordman's and that happened in 2000. And now for the downward spiral of Crossroads Mall. January 8th of 2015 it was announced that J.C. Penney would close as part of a plan to close 39 locations nationwide. However, a year later, At Home replaced the store. On January 4th of 2018, Sears announced that it was going to be closing as part of a plan to close 103 stores nationwide and it ended up shutting down in April of 2018. And it was a bad month because later on that month, the Bonton, which is Yonkers' parent company, announced that they were going to be closing and liquidating all of their stores. 
And on August 29th of 2018, Yonkers ended up closing their store at Crossroads. On May 11th of 2020, Gordman's announced that it was going to be going out of business as their parent company ended up filing for bankruptcy and chose to liquidate all of their stores. And only eight days later, Dillard's announced that they were going to be closing their store. And after all the anchor shuffling and everything, anchors closing, the only store that was left was the at-home store as, as an anchor store at Crossroads. However, in August of 2023, it was announced that the at-home store would close and in November of 2023, that store ended up shutting down, and now the mall has no anchors. So whenever I was recording this mall, it was about an hour to a half hour before it opened to the general public. However, the door was unlocked. So I was able to get a video. However, it was... It was pretty scary doing it. It was dark. It was quiet. There was no music playing. And the only store that I really saw that possibly could be open is a Bath and Body Works. A U.S. Cellular store was also open at the mall, too, as well as maybe a pizza place. and maybe an H&R block. Otherwise, there are absolutely no stores open at the mall. It is almost completely dead. So thanks to Namdar, we have a dead mall in Waterloo, Iowa. So I hope you guys enjoy a tour of this very desolate shopping center that is in the middle of Iowa in Waterloo. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe to my channel please for a lot more content to come. Make sure that you like, make sure that you comment, and make sure that you share this video please. This mall went down very, very, very quickly. God bless you guys. Continue shopping at your local businesses and continue to shop at your local mall. Thank you very much. You guys are awesome.